and welcome to Global Tech News. I'm your host, Landon Georgewell. Tonight, should we wear two masks? Weighing in on the matter is Dr. Anthony Fauci and Dr. Rick Santos. Dr. Fauci, will you please take the lead on this matter? What we really should be doing is reminding each other that we're all in this together and that wearing two masks really shouldn't be a problem. Wearing three or four or even five masks should really be common sense. Wait, five masks? Yes, I find it absolutely ludicrous that people won't wear eight masks. I, it's almost like they don't care about the safety of others. It's very selfish. Look, I shouldn't be the one to tell you that you should be caring for other people. If we don't wear our 16 masks, we'll never be able to flatten the curve in two weeks. Sir, you, you can't be telling people to wear 16 masks. This is... This is ridiculous. Well, excuse me, princess. How many masks do you recommend we wear, Mr. Non-Celebrity Doctor? Well, to be honest, I don't think the masks really do any help. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there, Nazi. You just call me a Nazi? Are you even a doctor? Are you a real doctor? What we really should be doing is believing the science. If you don't believe the science, then I don't know what to tell you. Dr. Fauci, what else do you recommend we do to save lives? What I recommend doing is buying a banana and putting it inside of the freezer. Take it out once it's frozen and shove it up your ass. Shove it really, really deep up your asshole. Then pull it out and then put it into your mouth down your throat. What? Excuse me, fascist. Fauci was speaking. Fauci, as you were saying, ass to mouth with the banana. And then what? Yes. And while the banana is sliding down your throat, take a plastic bag and cover your head with it. Take some duct tape and tape the bag around your neck so that you cut off all circulation of oxygen. After a few minutes, you'll pass out. If you do that, then you definitely won't get the virus. And all of this information has been proven in scientific journals. Is that correct? All of this has been approved by science. None of this has been approved by science. Well, what you really should do is begin making a shepherd's pie. Make a shepherd's pie and then put it into the oven at 400 degrees so that it gets really, really hot and steamy. Once it's steaming hot, pull it out and slowly slide your bare hands into the shepherd's pie so that you get third degree burns. Pull it out and grab a rusty spatula and chop your dick off. Once your dick has been chopped off, take the shrinkled penis and shove it into the toilet and flush. Then, jump out the window and land on the pavement. If you do that, then you definitely will not get the virus. Look, if we do this, we might even be able to help some rapists and molesters get out of prison so that they can build some ventilators for the elderly. Hey, did someone say ventilator? How you fellas doing? Hi, Mr. Emmy Award winning governor. Thank you for coming on the show. I didn't even... I can't believe you're actually here talking to on my show. Cuomo, it's so nice to see a fellow Paisan. Hey, good to see you both. Except for that white Nazi nationalist fascist in the back. <laughs> uh, look, I, I just want to point out what the Messiah of Science, Dr. St. Anthony Fauci was saying earlier about these rapists and molesters. We will be utilizing these wonderful people in the great state of New York. If we do this, it's going to be federally mandated. So that means these rapists and molesters could rape you at any given time when they enter your house. This is absolutely disgusting. You guys are all sick. Hey, baby, I'm a love gov, all right? I'm a smooth dude and a loose mood and like my percolator going with a ventilator. All right, now you're just rhyming out of your ass. Shut up and follow the science. I can't believe you guys are doing this to people. This is sick. This is sadistic. We did it already. Uh, well, you don't know what you're talking about. Dr. Santos, you're probably one of those Cubans with a name like that. The hell's that mean? <laughs> oh, Mr. Oh, no, that sounds like communism. Lockdowns remind me of communism. Actually, you're probably a Russian spy. He looks like a Russian spy. Look. Look at the glasses. I'm not Russian or Cuban. My family came from Barcelona. Landon, I don't know how you can have these racist Nazis come on your program and spew all these conspiracy theories. You're ruining people's lives. The children are not getting the education they need. People are living in tents because they lost their jobs and their businesses. Suicide rates are going up. And here you are talking about sticking a banana up your ass 
at chopping your dick off with a metal spatula? How, how can people listen to you? This, this is evil. This is disgusting. Mm -hmm. uh, this is gross. Thank God. See, censorship does work. Thank God we got rid of him, just like we got rid of that orange man. Wow, I really have to hand it to you, Landon. You got rid of that Russian spy faster than the CCP got rid of those whistleblowers from Wuhan when the coronavirus broke out. Great job on that one. Xi Jinping forever. And that just about does it here on Global Tech News. I'm Landon Georgewell, signing out. Bye. See you next time. Uh-uh. <laughs>